Welcome to the e-commerce coffee break podcast and our summer school. This week it's all about loyalty. So let's dive right into it. Hello and welcome to another episode of the e-commerce coffee break podcast. Today we want to talk about loyalty programs and everything that comes with it. Now, a lot of stores have already loyalty programs installed, but there is much more to it than just having one app. There's a lot of factor that on a lot of other factors that play into the game to make it successful. So therefore, as a guest today on the show, I have Dustin with me. Dustin is a digital marketing expert of, of working for growwave.io. He, his specialization is in content management. He has a background in SEO, social media, e-commerce, and content creation. He's also an expert in researching market trends, communicating for strategic strategic purposes and content strategy. So let's welcome Dustin to the show. Hi, Dustin. How are you today? Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm doing great. Dustin, we want to talk about five mistakes that you see that our merchants doing when it comes to loyalty. So give me a bit of a background. What um, plays into a successful loyalty program? So... Uh... Let's let's begin with the basics. Um, as as you may recognize, there's a major issue with impl implementation when it comes to loyalty programs. Uh, whenever you're thinking about uh, starting your own e-commerce business, or perhaps you're going from physical only to digital, um, you have this issue with a bit with, the, with programming and building your loyalty program. And we provide a comprehensive solution, uh, which enables you to activate your store and start using that sort of functionality. Uh, the problem is, is the absence of control. It's the, it's the issue with basically implementation of your goals. And we provide the solution that allows you to basically not only create your own personalized, which is a very uh, and branded uh, loyalty program, but actually to, to engage the customer uh, on an active basis and to maintain that relationship with them. So if we go into like the more, more, let's say, uh, classical understanding of loyalty programs, we realize that, yeah, okay, uh, loyalty is defined as basically an emotional connection at a basic level with the customer. But fundamentally, you need to have, you need the ability to implement whatever idea you may have and engage with, the, with that person. But doing so from across the globe is nearly impossible without some sort of platform nowadays. The costs are just outrageous. And we've successfully provided a, sure, we can call it a general solution because of an app, but we have everything you need in order to optimize, customize, brand, and observe all your analytics from one centralized uh, platform. And this is really the key to success. It's the, it's the analytics, it's the customization, it's the active communication, it's the implementation and the options that you have to create a, a comprehensive solution for your company. Makes total sense to have that in, in one app. Now, a lot of merchants have different apps. They not necessarily play with each other. And as you said, the analytics might be also in different reporting tools there. Now, when it comes to having a loyalty program, I mean, to get there, there is different ways to go um, Go there. So there's reviews, wish lists, gift cards, referrals, everything plays in to get your customer, come back to your store, be lo loyal and bo buy more from you. So... Let's dive into the different sections of what your app provides. Um, what, where is usually the, the customer journey starting with? So the customer journey begins with, with the onboarding process. And the key here is, that, well, from the marketing side, uh, there's a few issues. We want to make sure that the onboarding process is clean, uh, that it's, it's informative, that it's, uh, it's not too difficult to manage. We really want to think about how that onboarding process works out and how quickly we can get the customer from point A to point B and making sure that they're satisfied along that course. Um, I believe we've successfully done so, but we're still in the process of you know, developing our product day to day. And we come out with new, new ways of basically uh, bringing benefits to our customers or just, just small nuanced things uh, can make a, a world of a difference. And, and that's not something uh, people really give a lot of attention to. And it, it's something that's really important here at GrowWave. And we, we, I believe we succeed in doing that. So it starts with the onboarding process and it goes into the selection of sort of rewards that you want to give. Now, the rewards that you give out are, are deeply strategic because let's say, for instance, a major component of your business is social media. 
and you don't give too much attention to other alternative uh, sources of, of uh, traffic or leads, but you focus on social media. With this loyalty program and the rewards that, you, that we have available for you, you can reward, uh, let's say, for instance, a follow on Instagram or a like on, on, on Facebook or a comment on, on Twitter or something along those lines. You can award, award those sort of interactions with rewards. And, and this basically allows you to channel where you want these people to be going to. Um, and then, then we have the reviews. Well, well, in my personal opinion, and I'm sure that you may agree with me, reviews are probably one of the most important, important uh, um, tools that we have in order to cultivate authority and authenticity with our, within our business. And uh, to give you an example, uh, one of our devoted customers, for instance, Joshua Lloyd, uh, he's one of the premier LGBTQ businesses in Europe, and he has cultivated more than a thousand reviews on his main website. And the effect that has on your e-commerce performance is fundamentally changing. Uh, you have this ironclad reputation online that's backed by thousands of people advocating your product. And this is enough for you to build a a legitimate uh, reputation and to begin that process of, uh, of uh, scaling your brand. And I believe, you know, the steps that you take to get to where you want to be involves the products that we sort of offer. So it's more like a, yes, it's an all-in-one marketing solution, but the, your goal and our goals are, are synchronized. They're aligned. We want to get to the same position as, as you're trying to, uh, trying to get to. We want to help you get there and that's our success. And then we have social login. Social login is basically this abridged version of the registration process. Now, we believe that a major point, uh, pain point for most businesses, uh, they go through this process of registration, registering for a loyalty program that requires your name, email, address, phone number, the works. And this could take you through several pages, perhaps take you more than five minutes. But we have this product called social login that allows you basically to use your Facebook or your email or whatever social media platform that you generally use to log in immediately and start accumulating points. And now it also stands to, uh, stands to say that you can reward social login. So the minute somebody is basically uh, logs in using social login, you can immediately give them like a 5% discount. And this could motivate them to complete that, uh, that purchase gear, and knowing that they have this sort of extra boost of uh, you know, support from us. Um, we also have Instagram and UGC. So if, if, for instance, you use your Instagram to sell your product, you can integrate a uh, gallery into your, into your web page, integrate products into those pages, and turn your Instagram into this selling machine, like an, like an omni-channel uh, sort of approach where you're using your social media to sell, it, uh, sell your product. Um, and then we have wish list, which is basically, it's a lot like a birthday wish list or a marriage uh, registry. You fill this wish list up with products that you love that let's say they're out of they're out of stock or they're a bit expensive that day, or perhaps you can't afford it, but you want to share it with your loved ones. You can accumulate products inside this wish list. And then when, for instance, uh, the product goes on sale or it's back in stock, you'll receive an automated uh response through the wishlist system, the email notification system that tells you that this product is back, or you can share that wishlist on, on social media or, e or through email to, let's say, your grandmother or your mother, and they can purchase that product for you. Um, and then we have, those are the core products, but then we have like these additional features. So we have a deep analytics section that gives you basically comprehensive information about everything that we do. We have an email notification center that allows you to automate email, uh, email notifications to keep in touch with customers. Uh, we, all these things are, of course, are custom, uh, customizable. We have boost campaigns, which can give you basically multiplied points during a specific period of time that you can pre-designate. Um, we also, uh, what else do we have? Um, there's, there's definitely more. There's a lot of branding that you can do. There's the analytics section. Um, uh, but that's generally the idea that we have behind Growway. We want to provide everybody a solution and options that they can implement their own strategy, an abundance of options, as opposed to a restricted amount of options. I think that's the major difference. Mm -hmm. No, that sounds very interesting. I like the idea that um, sort of a micro engagement, a micro action, just logging in um, already can give you points or going to a Facebook page and like the page gives you points. There's definitely an approach where 
a client um, has a bit of a success feeling along the way. So it's not just one big thing. You have bought something here, get some points, be loyal. Um, but along the way, you can already start in collecting points. Now, what are the biggest mistakes that you see from merchants coming to you, what they have done in the past with their loyalty program? So uh, if the major issue, the most fundamental issue, it's people, uh, people are not completely aware of the full functionality of GrowWave. So GrowWave has all these features that are profoundly powerful and can help you really scale your business. And if you use them to your advantage, they can be a great success for you. But a lot of the time, customers are not engaging in the way that they expect we would, we would expect them to do. So part of my job has to do with educating people on how to optimize or implement these features or so on and so forth. And so what we're trying to do is really create that level of understanding where people are actually succeeding using our tools. So that's definitely number one. Uh, number two probably has to be with the value of points. Um, we have to understand. Sure, okay, uh, let, me, let me just um, backtrack just a moment here. Uh, we have seen this trend of, of basically because paid ads and uh, PPC are they're getting more expensive, uh, more difficult to really, uh, really convert. We've seen this rise in basically cost of acquisition. And I'm sure you would agree with me when I say this. Um, in loyalty programs, they really, they bridge that gap. Uh, they they give you an alter, an alternative solution, but the caveat is that finance that loyalty programs do have are considered liabilities because every point that you award has a financial value. And so where do we where do we go uh, go basically into the details here is number two mistake is the value of the rewards. The value of the rewards is fundamental for success because although we can't say, for instance, oh, you need to fix it at this level and expect results, what we need you to do is basically observe the analytics, monitor growth, right, and, and see where you need to uh, basically divert the points to uh, play with the point values and accumulate that value that you're trying to accomplish. That's definitely something that's super important. Uh, number three, um, okay, yes, uh, our core features are, are, are very well listed and known, but the secondary features like the email not notification center is critical, critical. I've seen statistics about uh, email conversion rates, and I noticed that they were ranked as the highest performing conversion channel. And, and I completely agree because, okay, yes, you can, you can, create the email and yes, you have an expectation and it's sort of, okay, you might be pessimistic about its value because it's not very, very surprising or eye-catching, but it, it keeps you relevant. It keeps you in their inbox. It keeps you talking. It keeps you there. It, it's, a, it's an opportunity for you to, at almost zero cost, stay completely active with the customer. And that's something that I'm really disappointed with. Um, that's, I believe, number th three. Um, number four. Uh, number four, okay, reviews. Now, I say this because it's so important. Um, I gave you that example about Joshua Lloyd, but that's not the only example out there. There are hundreds of excellent examples of how reviews fundamentally changed the existence of a company because it created this almost community of, of, of advocates. Uh, net promoter scores. I mean, that's just one example. Now, I, I mentioned reviews because it's it's incredibly important. Uh, it's 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 fundamentally what we're trying to accomplish. It's that reputation. It's that layer of trust. As you as you probably also know that, you know, this divide when we when we're trying to sell over the internet, it's 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 impossible to just ignore. Uh, you don't have the opportunity to be in person to communicate to demonstrate your product. Uh, like you would uh, in a typical shopping mall. So we need to have this trust and that's really what the first challenge that we have. And so number four mistake would be not leveraging the full potential of reviews. Uh, we want you to reward reviews. We want you to accumulate not tens, but hundreds of reviews. We want you not to just use reviews on your pages, but we want 
emails as well, uh, trying to manage that data by exporting, importing it into other mediums so that you have that extra layer of reputable, reputable uh, sources, you know, that independent uh, advocacy. We want people to really just, you know, push that envelope and, and promote your business. And, and that's super important for us. Um, number five, okay. Um, okay, peers uh, in loyalty programs. This, this is also a very interesting uh, observation that, that I've had. Um, yes, we have, we have like the stereotype of a complete loyalty program where you have the FAQs, the pages, you have everything, you've done everything. But there are a lot of really popular loyalty programs that take that to another level. Uh, they use this new creative element. They give you a specialized in-person uh, experience. They give you free tickets to partners or free tickets to events or, or early access to limited edition products or seasonal uh, discounts, early access. The, you can differentiate your loyalty program greatly by, by taking advantage of your creativity. That's definitely number five, create creativity and environment in loyalty programs. Yeah, it makes total sense. I like that you mentioned um, email as one of very one of the very important pillars of um, loyalty programs because that's something that I don't see often. Uh, people just think it's um, install it and it will back, um, work its way back in the background, and you just forget about what's doing. But I think just coming back to the customer, and as you said, email is a very important marketing channel, and it won't go away. Is very important. So for me, what immediately came into mind is all the airlines that I'm signed up with. I'm not using all these airlines all the time but once a month or so i get all these loyalty program reminders with the points i have and what i can do with it and then also as you said with the motivation um on put my points into some special some um, extra that is just running now the last point that you mentioned so i think it's very interesting to just combine these whole thing and all, all of these different things and um, make it a, a complete thing now when it comes to the um, setup and on the learning curve of GrowWave, um, how does that work? How much time do I need um, to spend with that? What kind of homework do I need to do before I get can get started? Yeah, sure. So GrowWave, it's built to be customer centric. Uh, so we operate on the Shopify official app store. And of course, uh, in order to, to be present in that app store, you have to meet uh, a certain criteria. And um, what what really uh, makes GrowWave uh, sort of an elevated product is is the fact that the administrative panel uh, is modernized, uh, simple uh, simple to use, well organized, and and the process is actually very easy. Um, we expect customers to be done with the onboarding process within three to five minutes. I mean, we can say under five minutes, um, and I can do so confidently as well. And then when you're uh, when you're actually in the administrative panel, your control center for GrowWave, uh, we don't we don't force you to deviate out of out of Shopify. You're actually uh, embedded into the uh, Shopify uh, settings administrative panel as well. And so everything is like it. Here's here's a uh, one one uh, sort of nuanced uh, thing that we like to consider uh, when we're trying to market our product. Some products offer. Uh, what GrowWave offers dividing into several apps. Um, and to basically uh, operate all these apps, uh, you don't have synchronized information. Um, data is, uh, is uh, dispersed. Um, it can get complicated, but you have everything in this one simplified modern platform and it just uh, elevates the experience. Okay. What kind of integrations to other apps or software solutions do you offer? Uh, we have numerous partners, uh, 20 plus uh, uh, partner integrations, and we're actively working to build relationships with them as well. Um, if you if you go to our blog, you'll see a few partners that uh, that were really optimistic when they heard they have an opportunity to post something on our blog. Uh, and that's what's that's something we like to do. We we like to uh, talk to partners, um, see what we can do for them, promote them, help them out. Like um, we recently had one app that uh, that recently opened up, and I was I was more than happy to to share their profile on our blog as well. So that's something that we're actively looking to to promote in the in the industry. Okay, tell me a little bit about the pricing structure of your app. Uh, so the pricing structure, we actually take what I believe the best approach. Um, uh, so 
some products uh, you, you'll you'll find uh, they they're first of all they're a little more expensive than others, um, uh, which is which is not not something that's entirely negative. That's just uh, that's their product, right? It's their it's the right to price it as they wish. But what really bothers me is how the features. So on the lowest plans. Uh, you basically have maybe like 20% of the functionality of the, of the later plans. With GrowWave, you have full access to the full platform and all the features starting from the, the very lowest plan. And we structure it according to your capabilities. So, so let's say, for instance, you're a small business that's just starting up and your overheads are pretty tight and we don't want to overburden you. So what we do is basically structure our features to basically uh, give you that sort of leeway to uh, to allow the affordability to to basically use a full full platform without any restrictions, something that most companies don't actually offer, but Grow with does. Okay, I know I like that. Um, that that definitely makes sense to have a tailor made to the size of your business and not to the number of features that you offer there. Um, Dustin, where can people find out more about GrowWave? So we we are uh, the best source of information, of course, is going to be our main website, which is growwave.io. We have a very active blog, which I manage um, with information on how to use Growwave to its full capacity, how to optimize great examples of, of basically how to implement your own loyalty programs, how to take advantage of the email notifications, just a comprehensive solution, uh, everything you need about GrowWave and, and marketing and, and e-commerce, it's we have that available on our blog. Um, you can find also more detailed uh, de uh, descriptions of, uh, of our blog, uh, of our product on the Shopify app store um, and a bunch of reviews as well. So we have a thousand plus reviews, uh, great reviews. We're highly rated in the Shopify app store. Uh, we encourage you to visit the official shop store and take a look at our product. Uh, that's growwave.io. Okay. Now I saw you also on your website, you offer a, um, a check in on a demo store that people can really try it out and see how it works. Yeah. Yeah. The, we, we have, we take pride in, in our demo store. We work really hard on it. Uh, it describes our product really well. Uh, yeah. gives you the ability to interact with the product to see firsthand out what the, what sort of experience your customer is going to go through. And, uh, uh, we encourage everybody to check it out as well. Okay, Dustin, I really like the, the overview and it gives a, a, a good idea for a merchant that loyalty is not just fire and forget, it's much more to make it successful for your business. And um, I would recommend and I will put the links in the show notes that everyone checks out the demo store. I did it and I think it gives a, a very good overview of what your product can do. Thanks so much, Dustin, for your time and have a great day. Thank you, Klaus. Have a great day. Bye-bye.